Hi everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and today is use your stash day. Every month on the 7th, a group of us are releasing videos featuring an item in our craft room that we are trying to utilize. They usually involve products that are maybe a little bit older and have kind of lost their first blush, so to speak. And so it's a way of resurrecting them and getting them into projects. The list of collaborators will be below and be sure to check them all out. This month we're focusing on using brads. So in front of you I have one of my brad foam boards. This is how I like to store my decorative brads so that I can easily see what I have. I have a couple of these and then of course I have tons of little containers of brads that are a little more generic typically by color so I have a lot needless to say but you'll notice that I did make a bit of a dent in here which is great so let me show you what it is that I made I was focusing on scrapbook layouts this month and so I did a two-page layout here featuring my niece and it's a very simple design but I was able to get eight photos on here and six brads. So I've got three up in the top corner. Here's the fourth and then two over here for a total of six. I really like how this one turned out. Uh, so after I was making the two page layout uh, for, of my niece, I still had a ton of scraps left over. And so I made a base page using those scraps and used another 12 brads as kind of like enamel dots. So they're just these little yellow brads sprinkled throughout the design. So this is a base page, meaning I don't have a photo for it at this point. It's gonna go in with that stack. And at some point I will pull some photos, match them up to base pages and have some done really quickly. If that is something you are interested in seeing me do, uh, leave a comment below and check out my channel for uh, the videos that I've talked about using base pages and making base pages. The next two layouts were not designed to necessarily be together, but they were designed to coordinate. I did use some page kits, so if you are a follower on my channel, you will know that I like to break down paper pads and make page kits. And what's really great about those is that when I'm ready to scrapbook, I just go flip through, find something that works, and I already have all the papers that I need in order to complete my project. So this is my first layout using this page kit. So again, these two are meant to go together, but not necessarily as a double page spread. Um, I used 44 brads on this one. I created this border around the photo. I added a brad to each one of the cameras. And then the rest of the page is pretty simple. It's just a little bit of cardstock, um, some die cuts or paper punched, and then these um, faceted heart jewels. I really like how this one turned out. This is the accompanying page. So again, like I said, they coordinate. For this layout, I used 16 brads. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So they are spread throughout the page. I really love this two-toned alpha and the way I aligned it along the top. I think it looks really interesting. Okay, and then the last layout I did, this one, I'm warning you now, I went to town. It is a heavy, heavy layout. I used 137 brads on this layout. Can you believe that? Yes, it is. A little bit of a hefty page that's for sure so I did use the brads to make a design element and almost the main focus of this particular page this is going to be a lead into a series of pages involving a trip to a local botanical garden and I played off the idea of the circular design by using circle photos or photos cut into circles I also added three more of the flower brads um, just as embellishments. I do need to add the date. The journaling is probably going to go on a different page. And I think that is pretty much all there is to say about it. I did use up all these flower brads which have been in my stash forever so I was really quite pleased with that. So let me know below if you have brads in your stash and when was the last time you used them. and. 
hopefully I've encouraged you to dig them out. Thanks so much for joining me. Be sure to check out those links and until next time, happy crafting.